We just got to our spot and there's a big bear over there. That guy's beastly. Hopefully he doesn't smell us or if he does, he oh, he's looking at us now. Don't attack my camera bag, man, or my dive gear, please. I appreciate that, man. Thanks. Get your gun, get your mask, get your gear. Yeah, thanks for uh, helping the rest of my gear in there. Yeah, no sweat. Cal and I made the drive out to the West Coast for a day of diving and harvesting. Nanaimo is the ultimate spot to be if you're a diver. So many options available in under three hours of driving. Just got to the spot. Uh, we're diving the West Coast. Five mil or seven mil. I think I'm gonna rock the seven today. I'm happy I brought my hiking shoes with me today. Definitely a good spot for him. We are here. Look at this flat calm. I've been looking at windy recently, that wind app, and it was saying 20 knot winds blowing through here. I didn't really trust it because it was wrong last time. I'm happy I didn't listen because it doesn't get much flatter than this for this spot. See some kelp out there. Last few times I was here as a big urchin barren, so let's hope some of those barrens dissipated. I don't think the sea otters are up here yet, but when they are, we'll be munching through them like crazy. Now uh, we're gonna hike down and uh, gear up, yeah. By the way, it's Father's Day. I was really, really hoping my wife and kids would come, but Jasmine didn't really want to hang out on a rocky shoreline uh, while I was in the water. I don't blame her, uh, but this coast is awesome. There's really neat spots to check out all over the place. I know the kids will have a blast here. I think one day I'll have to just put away the dive gear and come here and just explore, look in tide pools. I know Sailor would love it. Uh, as I too. About a year ago, we had that heat dome, roughly 40 some odd degree temperatures, insanely hot. Luckily, the west coast here was sheltered a bit. Gets a bit cooler around here in the summer, and the water's cooler as well, so helps shelter some of the marine life. But around here, mussel galore, and they're open in this area. So we're gonna grab a bag of mussels before we leave. Right over there, you can see all that action in the water. I just saw a salmon jump, and there's a little herring jumping up and down too. So. Uh, salmon feeding away hopefully they're still there when we jump in the water jump in and herring balls it's gonna be cool they're still chilling i hope he knows we're here pretty big guy eh? yeah i think he's leaving now though you know those things were in our coast for the longest time during the pandemic it kind of sucks to see him back i get the local tourism industry is happy but look at all that pollution they push out 24 7. if you care about the environment don't go on a cruise you know, those things are abominations. A company called Advance uh, reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out and review a mask. Uh, so I jumped on board. The masks seem like they're made out of really good quality. I spent last night defogging them. Uh, better to burn off that silicone that goes on the lens during the manufacturing process so they don't fog up. You can use a lighter to burn off that silicone. You can use toothpaste. There's a chemical reaction that occurs that also takes that silicone off. Or you can buy some defog be careful what defog you use for your mask. Some will defog as you go. Also put it on before you dive. Some defog like this stuff is designed to take the silicone layer off. It has sulfuric acid in it. So you don't put that in the lens and then put that lens on your face. You don't want sulfuric acid in your eyeballs. So always read the manufacturer's instructions before you use any of that stuff. You don't want to cause damage to your eyes. Uh, but these masks seem awesome. I'm gonna throw one on try it in the water and I'll let you know what I think of them after. They sent me two by the way. Uh, one mask was for free diving and the other is more of a snorkel mask. I'm gonna give that one to my wife. She'll try it when she goes to Bermuda. She's heading there next month with the kids for a couple weeks. I gotta hold down the fort and work. Uh, but she'll love that mask when she's there. She tried it on last night and it fit her perfect. Uh, so I'm gonna jump in. Can't wait. Conditions like this don't come by too often. We didn't know what the visibility was gonna hold for us at this point. But if you recognize this coast, you'll understand that just having a calm entry here is a win. This area gets smashed, and you're not just getting thrown into sand, but more of a rocky reef. Definitely check the swell report beforehand. In my opinion, this is the hardest place to dive on our coast. At least for me it is. The current is always strong, there's often heavy swell, it's rarely sunny, and I've yet to see good visibility. Every time I come here, I have the expectation that it's gonna be a tough dive so I can prepare both physically and mentally. It didn't take me long to realize this day was exceptionally bad in terms of both viz and current, but oh well, you win some and you lose some.
I was spotting the odd link card, but they were all undersized, so I unloaded the gun, turned my camera around, and thought I might as well catch some footage. And I made the right call. I think the algorithm picked up my last spear fishing video, and I had a few people comment from California about all our healthy kelp beds. The sad reality is, we have it just as bad as them. Come on, sea otters, what's taking you so long? And then, one of the scariest moments of my life unfolded. Go! Cal and I get a bit separated when we're in the water. I was scanning the horizon, I couldn't see him anywhere. I was screaming out his name, uh, ran ashore, scanned the horizon, looked around everywhere, I didn't see him. Yeah, it was really, really stressful. Uh, so when you're in these conditions, really just one up, one down, you know, don't get too relaxed. I found him, uh, luckily, but I was thinking like, when am I gonna tell his dad, you know? Those are thoughts that you don't want in the back of your mind. Uh, so keep an eye for each other at all times. Uh, in these type of conditions, the wave waves can block the horizon. Can't see uh, can't see anyone over the rollers. Uh, so with current and bad viz, you know it's really hard to keep an eye on each other sometimes. But no excuses for it. Uh, anyways, found them, so that's good. Uh, but a little stressful. <laughs> we cruise the current down the coast. Gonna walk back and maybe saw a few fish floats. I'm gonna try to pick up on the way, and I might see some cool stuff in the tide pools. Uh, diving was a write-off, visibility wasn't great, uh, but at the same time, it's no worries because it's nice getting in the water and seeing these beautiful sights. And to top it off, the tide's still low, so we're going to get some mussels and gooseneck barnacles. The coastline's so crazy out here, I love it. Uh, so rugged, you gotta be careful while you're walking. When I was running around looking for cow, I fell right into a crevices. I almost broke my carbon fins and I took my knee out pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to be running around here blind. You end up getting hurt. We were harvesting mussels, and although the limit is 75, only 25 of which can be the California species. So our limit was 25. All right, I got my limit of mussels. Now time to get some gooseneck barnacles. These guys are here. I pride myself in having good beach feet, but this ah, is not very fun. Gooseneck barnacles have a limit of two kilograms. Although it's done by weight, harvesting the small ones is pointless as there's practically no meat. I'm gonna try a few pieces of kelp too. I'm gonna try to cook that up. Might just eat it raw, uh, but it'd be a nice snack, I'm sure, dried up in the sun or uh, fried up uh, with the seafood I'm harvesting right now. Uh, let's give it a little rinse there. And... It's really good, like a crunchy snack. And loads of nutrients in there. Yeah, it tastes really good. They say there's two types of people out there. There's ones that pee in their wetsuit, and then there's liars. Uh, when you go in the water, it's kind of uh, one of those reactions. You just want to urinate. Uh, so I always like to I say flush the toilet before I get out of the water. A little bit cooler in the winter, but right now I'd rather suffer the consequences of cold water than drive home smelling like this. Yeah, not one of the highlights of uh, free diving. I'm uh, just going to finish things up now with this uh, limpet harvest, grab some of these. Uh, rarely do I get to come to this coast, so take advantage of foraging when I can. Uh, you know, roll with the punches, weren't able to dive much, it wasn't really worth our time, but just being out here on this beautiful coastline is. Uh, so yeah, just grab some of these next. What'd you do, man? Pretty good. Ended up finding some bigger ones this time. Those are beasts. Yeah. Right down in the intertidal, right where the waves are crashing, seems to be the best. Yeah. What else we got in there? Uh, we got some limpets and some uh, kelp, a couple different kinds of kelp. That was good, they just right off the uh, water. Mm. And uh, lots of mussels too. Yeah, that's good to get a hold of. I got a little stowaway there. Yeah, that guy's just a shell, a little empty shell take home here. A little purple urchin. Yeah. Decorate the house. These guys are so cute. I feel kind of bad sometimes harvesting. Everyone's all like, oh, octopus, octopus. But what about the other sea creatures? No one seems to care when we take them. Yeah, that might not be as smart, but at the same time, I'm sure they want to live too. Sorry, guy. You're going to end up on the pan tonight. No, I'm not patronizing my food. I respect this guy's little life. Yeah, you're cute, man. Sorry, dude. The advanced snorkel is really great. 
uh, didn't leak any water on me whatsoever. Uh, fit my face nicely and comfortably. I really, really like the snorkel. It's just a nice, simple, easy to use snorkel. You don't want anything too fancy when it comes to free diving. Uh, the simpler, the better, to be honest with you. The thing about a mask, uh, what fits me great might not fit you great, but I'd imagine this one here would fit a wide variety of different people. If you're looking for a nice budget option, this would be a, a contender. Thanks, Advance, for uh, let me review your product. I've also used a fair amount of snorkeling masks in the past. You don't want to use a snorkeling mask for free diving. You want something more low volume. For this one here, uh, I can't really review because I don't do snorkeling around our side of the planet. But either way, looks like a great product and uh, fit my wife awesome. Such a great day here. Even got this uh, to take home. Nice fish float. Uh, another one for the palm tree. Yeah. And I'm happy I found you, man. Yeah. I'm happy you're happy you didn't you didn't drift away. Don't hang me on your tree. No, I won't man. But at least I'll know where you go, at least I would have had some closure. <laughs> well, it was finally time to head home, but the adventure wasn't over yet. Made a quick detour here, uh, just right off the side of the highway. Uh Cal showed me this massive tree. Look at this thing. This thing's gargantuan. It's like the biggest tree I've ever seen in my life. At least one of them, anyways. Hey, Sailor baby, what's up? How's your day? Can we use that, buddy? Yeah, have a good day with Momo. Yeah. On Father's Day. <laughs> Sorry, man. That was fun, man. That was an awesome time. Grab a shirt. Grab a different one from my dad. Like, sure, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, I'm still selling these for $29.50. My idea was to sell these for conservation, but I'm still stuck with a big old box and there's a bunch of diving sports. So I don't think that idea is going to pan out, but if you want one of these, hit me up. Uh, still got a bunch, so uh, let me know. Remember you helped me paint that one? Yeah, you did such a good job. Check it out, Sailor. Look what I got. I got this one too. This one says 429 Remembrance 9623720021. ODFW. I know that's something to do with uh, fisheries in Washington. But this guy's going back up on my tree too. And the folks found a new home. Looking nice up there. Do you want to see them? They're yeah. called gooseneck barnacles. You can hold them. Oh. Yeah. And then we get these. These are called mussels. Aren't they delicious? Do you just kiss gooseneck barnacles? I kiss them. You don't need to kiss everything I give you, baby. And then last one there, we get these limpets. Oh, wow. You've tried limpets before. Do you want to see something even cooler? Yeah. You haven't tried this yet. What's that? Seaweed. Seaweed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Want to try a bite? Try a bite. Take a bite. Crunch. There you go. Don't worry, we'll cook it up and we'll make it taste yummy. I'm really excited and happy about all the bivalve harvesting I've been doing and also for what's to come. One of the keys to sustainable harvesting is spreading out your catch. I used to think more in terms of fish species, but when you throw bivalves and other invertebrates into the mix, it just takes that sustainability to a whole new level. I'm still far too dependent on the grocery store, but one of these days, I'm gonna start growing all my own fruits and vegetables too. It's hard for me to be proud of my diet when half the products in our home contain palm oil that more than likely came from destructive farming practices. Yeah, I don't eat meat, yeah, I catch all my own seafood, but trust me, I'm far from perfect and I have lots of room for improvement. But at least I'm aware of the problem, as I believe that's the first step in order to change. Jasmine made up another amazing meal of mussels, limpets, gooseneck barnacles, and kelp, which turned out fantastic. Big thanks goes out to my beautiful wife for always having my back, my loyal viewers, my patrons for the support, Advance for the mask, diving sports for most of my gear, and the ocean for keeping my inner child alive. If you enjoyed the video, comment and throw it a thumbs up. It's a great way to help my channel grow. Peace and love, everyone.